Lord Lovell, he stood at his castle gate, combing his milk-white steed. When along came Lady Nancy Bell, wishing her lover good speed, good speed, wishing her lover good speed. Oh, where are you going, Lord Lovell, she said. Oh, where are you going, said she. I'm going, my dear Lady Nancy Bell, strange countries for to see, to see, strange countries for to see. When will you be back, Lord Lovell, she said. When will you be back, said she. In a year or two, or three at the most, I'll return to my Lady Nancy, Nancy, I'll return to my Lady Nancy. He had not been gone but a year and a day, strange countries for to see. When languishing thoughts came into his mind, Lady Nancy Bell he would see, would see Lady Nancy Bell he would see. He rode and he rode on his milk-white steed till he reached fair London town. There he heard St. Varney's bell and the people all mourning around, around, people all mourning around. Is anyone dead? Lord Lovell, he said. Is anyone dead? said he. A lady is dead, the people all said, and they called her Lady Nancy, Nancy, they call her Lady Nancy. He ordered the grave to be opened forthwith, the shroud to be folded down. Then he kissed her clay-cold lips, till the tears came trickling down, 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 till the tears came trickling down. Lady Nancy, she died as it might be today. Lord Lovell, he died tomorrow. Lady Nancy died of pure, pure grief. Lord Lovell, he died of sorrow, of sorrow. Lord Lovell, he died of sorrow. Lady Nancy was laid in St. Clement's churchyard. Lord Lovell was buried close beside her. And out of her bosom there grew a red rose. And out of his backbone a briar, a briar. Out of his backbone a briar. They grew and they grew in the old churchyard Till they couldn't grow any higher and There they tied in a true lover's knot For all true lovers to admire, admire For all true lovers to admire <laughs>